Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Eclipse, Eclipse Neon, onto Ubuntu. Uh, the reason for this tutorial is mostly that the Eclipse out of the Ubuntu store is actually outdated at something like version 3.8. So in order to get the proper version, the latest version, I mean proper if you want the latest features, is to go to Eclipse.org, and there'll be a download button straight there while you're on Linux. And very handily, it basically takes you straight to the Linux download as a .tar.gz. So we need to download this to our system. So let's go ahead and do that here. Save file. And once this is downloaded, because of course it's a compressed file, a .tar.gz, uh, we're going to need to extract the folder inside of it. So let's go ahead and uh, get this browser out of the way, open up the file explorer, go to downloads, and uh, we need to wait for this to download of course. There's going to be a folder inside of it called, I believe it's Eclipse installer or something like that, so we need to extract that out of there. So I'll just wait a few more seconds here. Now, if you don't want to do a sudo command to install it as an administrator, but rather you want to use it as your current user, uh, the simplest way is probably to just put it somewhere in your home directory. So I'll just put it on the desktop. I believe that works. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And double click to open up the Eclipse installer, and you'll see a file called eclipse-inst, or, well, basically it's installer. So we can right-click that and go to run. And, uh, of course, you have to have Java installed, so we'll go ahead and take care of that as well. So, if you do happen to need to install Java, the quickest way you can do it is to go sudo apt get install, and then open JDK dash 8, or dash JDK. And that will install the, uh, basically, the open source library for Java, as opposed to the Oracle JDK, which you can get off the Oracle website if you'd prefer that instead. So let this install and then we'll get back to installing Eclipse. If you have Java properly installed, then when you go to run the Eclipse installer, it should go ahead and open up properly using your, uh, your Java installation to boot it up. And the Eclipse installer, the newer one for Linux, is actually quite straightforward from here. Um, we are going to go into the Advanced tab once this boots up, just so that we have a little bit more control over the installation. So give it a second to load up everything here. And we can select uh, basically which Eclipse IDE do we want. Are you going to do web development or are you going to do Java development? Um, basically just grab whichever one uh, sounds like it makes the most sense to you. Uh, for me, that's going to be JavaScript and web development. So after selecting that, I'm going to click this hamburger menu and go to advanced mode so that I can get a little bit more control over the product. Um, so Eclipse IDE for JavaScript and web developers. And uh, the main thing we want to do here is make sure that you are using the right JDK, especially if you have multiple installed. You can click here and select which one you need from the drop down list and add extra ones to the list if for some reason they don't show in system. But because we just installed or I just installed Java 8 open JDK, that's exactly what we want. And we can see that um, basically it's using uh, my use of the current user. Uh, well, the Chris user um, for all of the installation stuff, and that's what we want. If you uh, install using the sudo command or something like that, it'll start installing things to slash root slash insert directory name here, like slash root slash eclipse, and that gets a little bit weird. Uh, so I do prefer it this way. Uh, with all this stuff, I'm just going to kind of gloss over it now. Uh, Maybe something you need, but for most people's purposes, this should be fine. Uh, changing the name of the directory, I'm going to call it Eclipse instead of JavaScript Neon, but you can leave it by default if you want. Go ahead, hit Next. Uh, basically, just confirm all of these tasks. Go ahead, hit Finish, and it will basically run through everything here. And assuming uh, everything goes well, you should run into no errors, but we'll see if anything comes up here. Okay, and we have to... Accept the licenses. I'm going to check remember accepted licenses so we don't have to do that again in the future. Uh, during the install process, you may get a couple more pop ups for accepting trust certificates. So make sure you go ahead and check all those, assuming you do in fact trust them. And then hit OK to continue the install. 
And it looks like we have a successful install, so I'm going to go ahead, hit finish, and it looks like it's going to boot up Eclipse Neon for us. If not, I'll go ahead and uh, start it manually. So you can go ahead and boot up your workspace and start working in Eclipse Neon. So I've been Chris, thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you'd like, you can donate to the channel to help it out, and I'll see you in my future videos.